Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, how to download and install .NET Core 3.1 on Microsoft Windows 10. So, you simply go to this web address. It's very simple. I'll leave this in the comment, uh, in the description, video description below. So you can get it from there. Otherwise, you simply go to .net.microsoft.com slash download slash .net hyphen core. So that's the web address to get all the releases of .net core for all the operating system, Windows, Mac, and Linux distros as well. So here we are on this page. You can see at this moment, this is the recommended one, 3.0, the current version of .net. LTS, it's not LTS, it's recommended. LTS here it is 2.1. Okay, but for this video, I'm going to use the preview release, which is 3.1. I've already tested it, this does not have any issue. So let's go ahead and click on this to download it. Here on the download page, you can see you've got two options. This, this is this is runtime, only runtime. Okay, SDK run. Um, ASP.NET Core Runtime, only runtime. This is for developers. Languages supported are C Sharp and F Sharp. So, and included in Visual Studio support, 20, uh, Studio support uh, is Visual Studio 2019. Community edition, it's freely available. Now, here you can download it for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows systems as well. Uh, depending on your operating system type, this is 32-bit uh, and this is 64-bit. So go ahead and click the right download link here for your operating system. I've got 64-bit operating system. You can check it with pressing two buttons on the keyboard, Windows key and break button on the right top. So here you see you got 64-bit operating system. Once that is verified, go ahead and download this right package for your system. So installer for your system. Now this is the download, thank you download page. And I'm going to save this on my desktop. So go ahead and change the desktop here and hit save. Okay, so it's a huge file going to take almost five to seven minutes on my system so i've already downloaded it to save our time now once your download is complete go ahead and minimize this browser and locate this dotnet sdk 3.1 it may it may be in the downloads folder if you haven't changed the download location in my case it's in my on my desktop so i'm going to just run it to run it you simply have to right click and open it or you can simply double click on it. Now this is the installation wizard for .NET Core SDK 3.1, okay? And here we are, so you simply have to click install and you will get user account control window. You simply say yes. Now, okay, so this is going to install .NET Core SDK 3.1 development environment on our Microsoft Windows. It may take a minute or two depending on if you already have previously installed it. It just overrides everything. If you are installing it for the first time, it will take a bit longer. So here we are. It is almost done. This is a preview. This is not recommended by Microsoft. So if you're going to use any business application with .NET, make sure you have recommended software installed. This is just for testing purpose. So you can see the installation was successful and this has installed few things here in this location. So .NET Core SDK 3.1, .NET Core Runtime Preview, ASP.NET Core Runtime Preview again, .NET Core Windows Desktop Runtime preview again okay then you simply have to click close this means dotnet is installed now let's go ahead and quickly verify the dotnet framework 
if it's properly installed so simply go ahead and start or launch command prompt or cmd or powershell whatever you like and say dotnet and hit enter this means your dotnet is installed now we will quickly go ahead and create a demo application a web app mvc framework web app so i'm quickly going to clear the screen going to change the uh, location to desktop and going to clear the screen again going to make a directory so i'm going to say net box change the directory into net box clear the screen and quickly going to create an application mvc framework application or web app so to create this application we will simply say dot net new and the type of the application so you can create console or you can create web app there are a few more options here so i'm going to create web app and then i'm going to give it a name so application to give it a name application name you simply say hyphen o this simply means output and then name of the application so i'm going to say it dot app okay and then hit enter so processing post creation action and this has been created okay doesn't take long time doesn't give you any feedback what's been created but it this is already created you can go ahead and open this and you will get this your dot application here so I'm just waiting for this completion here. Alrighty, so you have successfully created .NET Web App, basically MVC application. So now what we need to go ahead and change the directory into the application that just created. So go ahead and clear the screen. Now we will go ahead and open it with uh, sublime text if you have installed it otherwise you simply drag it into your preferred text editor so you can have a look if this has few files here so it got objects okay pages so this has created few pages here it got shared layout and one more application then it got properties launch setting json and these are the public this this is assets folder so www root perfect now let's go ahead and run this application so switch to your command prompt powershell whatever it is and then then say dot net run as soon as you hit it it's going to create a folder within this dot app and that's bin folder so you can have a look at this one as well this is basically SDK that is added as soon as you run the server. So here we are. This is going to run the server and this will give you two ports where this application is running. So the first one is with HTTPS. The second one is with HTTP. Okay. So localhost colon 5001 localhost colon 5000. I'm going to use this browser Google Chrome you can use any browser and simply type localhost 5000 without HTTPS so as soon as you hit enter it's going to take you to this 5001 okay so this is how you create sorry download and install dotnet core on Microsoft Windows 10 and create MVC framework application okay so these are things that are included Microsoft ASP.NET bootstrap 4.3.1 jQuery and Windows operating system server IIS as well uh, this is a new thing here Kestrel okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question leave in the comment section below and i will try to answer it yes ap have a good day happy coding goodbye